Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about one of the most important things when building your robot, gear ratio. Let's get started. Let's start off with our first example of increasing energy. What we have here is our big gear connected to the small gear. Now, this has 60 teeth, and this small gear only has 12. So 60 divided by 12 would be 5. So this gear would get 5 more rotations than this one. Let's try it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And now they're the same. This also works with a medium sized gear and a small gear, as shown right here. So, again, this one powers, and since it has 36 teeth, and this still has 12, then you get three rotations out of this one. Let's see it in action. And now, they're back together. A large gear and a medium gear together. Now, because it ends up in a fraction form, then we have to turn this three times to get it back to its original state. One, two, and three. And now, our first example of decreasing energy. All you have to do is turn it around and change which gear powers the other. Now this gear powers the bigger gear, which will give you a slower turn of this gear. And there you go, right back. Now, what if you want it to be the same energy from the motor to another axle? Here's the first example of the same amount of energy. All you have to do is have the two gears with the same amount of teeth connected to any one in the middle. And then it results in this. the same rotation. Alright, to recap, we use gear ratio to find out how we can increase the speed, how we can decrease the speed, and how we can keep it all the same. Be sure to come back next Monday, hit the like, comment, subscribe, but I'm not forcing you. Don't think that. I'm not one of those people. Maybe. So, Next week we'll be covering gear ratio and how to do some math so you can figure out exactly how many times it needs to rotate and what your output will be. Thanks for watching.